I'm Adam Rowe and I'm playing games, so it's Rowe playing games! Welcome back everyone. So, um, I may have lost it a little bit in that last episode. You should but... see our, the area around the shit's on fire, shit's broken in Yeah, half. I may have broken everything in my room. Except the TV and the microphone, which is good. But in all that wanton destruction, I found clarity. And I'm bleeding. I, so um, <laughs> by making Zach bleed, I spoke to the universe. Yeah. And the universe bestowed upon me the, the cosmic energy to beat this. Like he beat so, me. I am a new bastard. man now. I am no longer Adam. I am... An asshole. Because now I'm bleeding. <laughs> Ow. I'm just going to ignore that. <laughs> what? Everything's fine. Yeah, you can tell Here, by how... how look at my strut. I'm a new man. Hey, wow, you're actually doing pretty good. I know, because, um, uh, that's fine. You know, it's whatever. You know, you can't sweat the small stuff, so what if a bee stung me? You know, it's yeah. fine. It's just, you can't let the little things get to you. Nope. You, you know, just... you just, sometimes you just need to turn the other cheek and take it on the chin and any other, uh, turn of phrase I can use. <laughs> and that's fine. It's all good. That's fine, too. Look. It's okay. <laughs> it, no, that's fine too. Because it's all put. You see, Zach, it's not the destination. It's the journey. It's the journey. And that's what I was lacking before. I was I was too focused on saving Sylvia. But now I know it's not important to save Sylvia. No. It doesn't matter that her life's in danger. It's not about saving her. It's about what I learn on my way to doing it. You get it back. She's like, so what did you learn? I learned that I hate you and you're not worth this shit. I learned that I'm my really life. bad at saving my girlfriend. <laughs> and everyone wants to hug me for some reason. Maybe that's the universe trying to uh, embrace me. And that was a, what the, that was a different beat. Oh, there he goes. One more time. Please be dead. Oh, I lied. When will it end? Oh, oh! I don't understand. What am I supposed to? All right, here we're gonna do something really quick. Okay, so the universe spoke to me again. Yeah. And it gave me the knowledge that I was fighting that man wrong. Yeah. It's see, you see, it's a metaphor. I kept going for the head, but the head just kept coming back, and so it meant that because I kept doing the same thing over and over again, which is the definition of insanity, I have to try something new. Like punch him in the balls. So what is what is the uh, what is the source of all life in a human being, Zach? The balls. The balls. So even I you, have to punch him in the even balls. Even if because even if you don't have balls, you balls had a part in your existence. That's I mean. true. Somewhere along the lines, you owe your life to balls. Right. Unless Te you're a, unless you're a test tube baby. Nah. No, yeah. In which case you don't. Or like, well, I guess if you were artificially, and you also owe your life to balls. Oh, wrong kick. Unless you're bioengineered, you freak. I damaged him. And he damaged you. <laughs> He's in like, return. no, I don't like that. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. The good news is that this is still very early into this episode. Yeah. So maybe if I can get past him, like, I can defeat the last guy. Or maybe he's impossible. I don't know. Maybe. To defeat him, you must first defeat yourself. I, I've never seen this stuff as a child. This is the first time I'm seeing everything. Ow. You didn't get this far before? No. I don't think I... I think I beat the first level. As a kid? I think that's the farthest I ever got. That's funny, because I was better at games, like, when I was a kid. Really? Like, NES games. I had like, I more actually, time to practice and play them, I too. actually got really far in Ghosts and Goblins, which is, like, no that's one... That's, like, that's incredible. No one believes me, because nowadays that is no one can do it. its own right. Oh, hey. Oh, hey! Wow, that feels good. <laughs> I did it! Wow! Are you on the last floor now? Universe, thank you. You have shown me the error of my ways. I found my inner zen, my inner peace. I found my inner bleeding. And I'm ready to go punch more people in the nuts. Yeah, uh, Sylvia, it's gonna be okay. Because I'm not worried about getting you anymore. That's gonna make everything fine. Does it do that on, like, every screen? At least that one. Or the last two. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's like Tony. Like, hey, save Sylvia. <laughs> did you forget? Save Sylvia. Hey, save no, Sylvia. No, it was the desire that corrupted me. Now that I have learned to be balanced and in the present, look how much better I am. Look at where I have gotten. Do you fight Mr. X on this floor? I think so. 
I hope so. I don't know how much more of this I can take. You know, that's a very generic bad guy name, Mr. Like, X. Dr. Evil. Like, how many bad guys have there been named Mr. X? I think a lot, actually. Even in, like, this weird British movie called... Just Mayor watch, or just read X-Men. Everybody has, like, an X name, X name, an X name somewhere. An X name. Um, what was it? Uh... There's Professor X, there's a character named X-Man. Is there? Yep. Weapon X. That's Wolverine. But then when were we also talking about how many... Ah, that's okay. That's fine. They look so funny when they're yeah, dying. Like, oh. It's like they're humans and then they turn into gorillas. You know what that reminds me of? Like, you know the, the first, like, Hulk movie? Like, in a while, like, the crappy one in the, in the like, late 90s, early Oh, the, uh, the Ang Lee one? Where, like, where, like, that one dude gets, like, fr freeze-framed and that explosion. Yeah, and that's what that, that reminds me of. incredible editing. I think they were going for, like, a comic book thing, but it just looked goofy. It did. Ang Lee, good director. Not meant to direct a superhero movie. Nah. Like, it was just very out of his element. But I think it's just because he got the job because he was really big for Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon half the time. And that's kind of the dangers of, like, ca <laughs> I said casting, like, hiring a, a popular director at the time for a project. Yeah. That doesn't automatically mean that they're going to be suited to do it. Nope. But, like, they're just figuring that no, they, can, uh, they, can, they can they can get money from the name. Some directors, though, are really well-versed in different genres. Oh, like, yeah? I, we were just talking about playing this, uh, Big Trouble in Little China, which was directed by John Carpenter, the writer and director of the Halloween movies. And, like, I can't think of a single bad movie the guy's directed, actually. That's like, um, we were talking about Mad Max Fury Road, which I loved, and I can't wait for it to come out on Blu-ray. Um, the guy who directed that, his name's George Miller, he's also the guy that directed Happy Feet. Like, his- he goes from, like, project to project, and they're, like, never- Ow. Man, these guys- these guys, like, aren't that hard, but they're coming at me, like, really fast now. Coming at you. Oh, shit, you know what I just realized? What? I didn't save... before this part. <laughs> but it's okay, because I know I can beat the wizard man. So it's okay, everybody. <laughs> Is it? We got this. So you start on level what? Three? On four. Yeah, these bees, now I know that I can beat them. I've already beaten them. They have no power over me. They have no bee power over me. It's completely fine. No bee power. See? Sounds, like, sounds like an energy drink. Look, it's like a walk in the park now. This bee's coming very fast. <laughs> okay. And, and then, there's little fuckers. And then there's little men. And that's fine. Little men. It's, everything's fine. And then this is gonna be fine. And... Huh. <laughs> he doesn't that, look like he That moth blew up on me. Didn't look like See, he took look at how easy that was. Jeez. Now, it's it's so amazing, like, you can have a hard time with something, and then once you did it done the first time, it just becomes child play after that. Yeah. Like, that's the fastest I've ever run through that level. That was pretty quick. It almost makes me, like, want to see, like, could I speedrun this game now? Maybe. I'm not going to do it right now because I don't want to do that to you, fine people. Yeah, you're fine, people. And now we've got, like, construction equipment moving outside. I like how he's marching in place, too, when he's like, Sylvia! Sylvia! <laughs> that reminds me of, uh, Kung Pao. There's a scene where, um, our, um, where, um, the main character's the chosen one, and there's this girl named Ling that he's in love with, and they're running at each other in a field. But, um, get off of me. It keeps on cutting the footage of them getting closer and farther away. It's just like, Chosen One! I'm coming! Chosen One! I'm coming! <laughs> Chosen One! And, like, he's progressively, like, further and then, like, back further. Yep. I recently saw that movie. Oh, you did see it? Uh, my friend let me borrow oh, it. Oh, darn, I wanted to watch it with you. Well, I watched it. A friend it moment before. ruined. It's okay, you and I can watch Mad Max when it comes out. Fury Road, starring might, Tom Hardy well, we, and Charlize Theron. We might be going to see Ant-Man tonight. Yeah, so. tonight's the uh, premiere of Ant-Man, which I've heard from reviews is actually pretty good. I wasn't really... Ow. One thing I will <laughs> say, Yellow Jacket looks pretty cool. Yeah, he looks awesome. He's adapted, though, because Yellow Jacket wasn't a villain. Yellow Jacket's just uh, Hank Pym, because he has like a million different aliases. They do that in the movies. Like, what was it? In uh, the Wolverine movie where he went... X-Men Wolverine, or as I like to call it, Wolverine goes to Japan. <laughs> Wolverine's <laughs> J Japanese vacation. <laughs> like, wasn't that villain, like, Viper? Wasn't she more based off, like, the character Lady Hydra? Yeah, she was like, I don't think Viper's a mutant in the comics. I think she is, like, based off an alias of, like, Madame Hydra. And then they just decided to make her a... And she has, she has, like, she has, like... It was funny, too, because, like, she had, like, no motivation. Yeah, she, she just was evil. 
plate. She was serve. She was serving. Uh, the silver samurai. But what? Dude. She had like no real reason to do it. He just wanted to live, but like she just was evil. Like, what did she get out of it? Being evil. So she, her motivation. We had a whole conversation about like the Joker being that you know he just is evil. But that makes sense because he doesn't really serve. Oh anybody. god, is that Mr. X? I have no health. It's okay though. Wow, he has a long nose. Maybe we just maybe if I just uh, stare at him long enough, he'll just tire out. All right. Is it a for a minute? I thought it was like a cutscene. I was gonna say like one of the words coming up. It might. Oh, here he goes, Kung Fu stance. Is he gonna do anything? <laughs> like, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, we're practicing to get. All right. <laughs> I wonder if he has my exact uh, like move set. Like punch, kick, low punch, yeah. low kick. Because like he just did my exact kick. I hope that's Mr. X because I want to finish this game. It's like how like some like, you know how some games like troll you like Bayonetta. Yeah. Well, like during like the middle of the credits, it throws you back into the boss. Like fight. what? Why? I gotta pick up Bayonetta one and two for the Wii U. Yeah, I heard it's awesome. I like the first one. I don't remember it that well, but I remember liking it. I remember it being good, even though I don't remember the specifics. Listen it's like batshit nice ridiculous though I hear from or I remember rather. It's like Did you play the first one? Yes. I didn't own it, but I played it at a friend's house. And like the uh the uh what's the what's the boss is the evil I don't remember. It's like Because I don't remember anything like I wanna specific. say something like Genova, like from Final Fantasy Seven, <laughs> but it's it's something like that. It's like Geneva. Ow. <laughs> they teamed up against me. It's I like, love uh, these free screens. Jubileus? Yes! Yeah. That was it. Uh, she like froze like freaking galaxies at you. You know what's funny? Like, another thing we can talk about the past of time since me and you were just hanging out while Adam plays this game. <laughs> but uh, another thing we can talk about is um how like there's ridiculous shit like an old like well Bayonetta is a more recent game, but like anyone who's played Final Fantasy VII to the end knows like Sephiroth's like final move that like destroys the galaxy, and it's weird because like. Number one, you use it, he can use it multiple times, so you see all the same planets blown up. Like, How many times, times can you destroy the galaxy? That, and also all the planets are like the planets in our solar system, but I thought Final Fantasy VII took place like on another Is planet. it really? They, they all have names, and they're like Mercury, Jupiter. Yeah, I've never, um, I've never really had the pleasure of playing Seven myself. We got that HD uh, remake finally coming out, though, have you, so. Have you seen, like, Sephiroth's move, though, where oh, it's yeah. like, right, uh -huh. like, and it destroys all the planets? Like, the I haven't played it, but, like, it's, it's so ingrained in culture. I pretty, exactly much, I pretty much know the plot of the game without ever even touching it. Ow. Seven probably had the deepest plot, but it wasn't my favorite. My favorite is four. To this day, Final Fantasy IV. I liked four. four. I did play that one. I think four had the most believable characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Darn. He hugged. Like, <laughs> I just realized his hands like. Yeah. Like Cecil or Cecil. Some people like Titus. Titus. Some people say Cecil. Some people say. Cecil. Is it Cecil? Some people say Cecil. I some think because I played the uh, the DS remake, and I think they pronounce it Cecil. I like Cecil better. Like, it's like I like Titus better, better than, than Titus. Titus. Yeah, but in Kingdom Hearts, I like tight ass. I do too. That I guess. But uh, like I, Cecil's not the most believable in the fact that he's a freaking dark paladin, Moon Knight. Who what becomes happened. like a <laughs> immediately becomes like a or <laughs> dark dark Knight who becomes a paladin. He's believable because like his motivations and his personality. He's, he's is pure. Like, like he had good intentions. But like, he was blindly the one following part, the authority figure. The one part that makes me kind of, um, that, that I don't like believable, because I'm a writer myself, so I like, uh, like, believable plot. The one thing I thought was kind of weak is that scene in, uh, towards the beginning of 4, after you come back from your first, like, attack or mission, his love interest, Rosa, talks to him, and she, like, comforts him, and he goes, like, Rosa, I'm a monster, I kill all these innocent people, and she's like, oh, I love no. you anyway. That's pretty much it, like. <laughs> that's okay. That's I'd be like at the end of, like, the Star Wars prequels if, um, like Padme found out Anakin killed all the children, and she was like, "It's okay." Well, she's she's, she's kind of, if I remember right, she's kind of like, "Oh, it's not your fault. They told you to do it." So she's almost like encouraging him for blindly following right. Anakin. Like rather than saying like Cecil, you should feel bad about that. Maybe you should think for yourself. Like she, your intentions weren't bad, but like you are responsible. Instead, she like tells him, "Don't feel bad. The king told you to murder those children because I do believe he killed the children. He killed. He, he, killed, he, the he killed the entire village, I believe. Yeah, and except uh, for that one little summer girl." Yeah, she summons. A, it's cool. She summons the Titan. And it's got like the planet on yeah. his back, like Atlas. Yeah. You know, I'm feeling much more relaxed now, even though I am dying. Ow. You know what? Six is another good. One. Tough. Final Fantasy Six is another good one, and this isn't Six had a really deep plot too. But one thing that sticks out for me in Six is the second is the character like a lot of people who played Dragoon's Quest, like Prince Albert. 
I don't know if it's really a reference to anything, but I like King Figaro from Six. Figaro, I never played Six. There's a character called King Figaro. Figaro. There is a character. Get away from me, Pinkman. Just let me fight Mr. Smacks. <laughs> yeah, you better run. Oh, they're bad. <laughs> yeah, you want to mess? You want some of this? Dude, huh? You want to mess with me? I'm really Adam Rowe. <laughs> I can awesome. take whatever you're throwing at me. That's awesome. Right. Are you timed though? I I hope that. Oh your time, shit! Your time's going down. Oh no! All right, I guess I better kill Mr. X then. Watch this not- <laughs> This isn't Mr. X. This is Mr. I really Mr. hope B. it's Mr. Dude. You beat Mr. X. I hope so. Oh, those other guys just run up. <sighs> She's not really Sylvia. She's uh, Mr. X in disguise. Uh, We're sorry, but your princess is in another castle. Congratulations, Thomas and Sylvia. What did Sylvia do? Zach. I'm so. But their happiness does I'm not going continue to hug long. You. Their happiness does not continue I, long. Wait, what? No. What happened? No. No. Is it just no. start over? Or no. It... No. He just no. lost the live. No. Wait, is, that, is that the legit end, though? I I wonder if it just keeps going, or like if I beat it the second time, if it'll be like, yeah, you did it. If it's like press B for a hard request, but you don't press B, it just throws you into a hard request. But you request. know what? I'm I'm not gonna do it. I'm satisfied. Yep. That was enough for me. He just had a one night stand with Sylvia, and now yeah, and now I'm now I'm just gonna move I'm just on. Gonna watch the gameplay itself now. Maybe I can learn something from it. What do you think there's to learn from this, Zach? This is the game. Well, uh, let the men hug you. Kiss them. Let let love enter your life, everybody. That's what. It means. Let, let let hugs. Let knives enter your life. Let snakes enter your life. Let bees enter your life. Welcome everything. Well. I'll be honest, um, like Adam said, we come from martial arts background, I've been doing it for a little longer than him, and if a guy was, like, if a guy was, like, running at me with his arms closed and I saw him, like, constantly hugging or giving BJs, I might avoid him, so. <laughs> so, Zach, I have to ask you, now that I've beaten the game, am I actually a kung fu master now? Sure. Oh, it feels good. See you next time on Road Playing Games. Stay away from knives and BJs. <laughs> Beep, 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 beep. Like, comment, and subscribe. Beep, beep, beep. Well, I just like I did this and I forgot to hit record. BJ.